In this video, I analyze 198 Tesla owners from around the globe and how often Tesla motors fail. This is part two in a series where I'm analyzing survey data from Tesla owners that they have volunteered to fill out. One of the common pieces of feedback that I got on the first video was that the data set was not large enough. And this was a part of publishing these videos was to solicit Tesla owners feedback on their experience. And so that survey is still open. And if you haven't filled it out, I would love for you to fill it out. And over time, I'll do some benchmarks on how that data changes as more info is added. Today, I'm diving into Tesla motor longevity. How long do they last and how often do these motors need replacement? First, let's take a look at surveyors by model. We've got a wide range of models here. We've got some Model S battery variants. We've got some Model X variants, but the overwhelming majority of the surveyors own Model Y and Model 3. Let's see if we can see some trends by motor failure by model. Interestingly, even though the Model S 85 kilowatt hour pack only represents 5.6% of the surveyor data, it represents the largest percentage of motor failures at 46.7%. If you tally up all Model S 85 variants, the 85, the P85D, as well as the P85, it represents 73.4% of motor failures. So if you're looking at a used Tesla, uh, you might want to avoid the 85 kilowatt hour pack because it seems extremely problematic. What's very interesting to me is that there are no motor failures in the older Model Xs. The only Model X that's represented is this Model X long range at 6.7% and that variant came much later on in production. That Model S 75 was actually my motor and failed recently. I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a second. Ironically, what's not represented on here at all is the Model Y. It's nowhere to be found. I think that they're still adding these same motors in the Model Y as they are the Model 3, yet it's not even on this list. Taking a look at a scatter plot, you'll see here that the majority of those motor failures do happen early on. This was the same conclusion that I had with Tesla's batteries. If they're going to fail, they're going to fail early on. What's missing from this data is probably some more higher mileage Teslas beyond 200,000 miles. Mine is one of those. I'm about to hit 300,000 miles and I've got a video coming up analyzing that a lot of people want to know about the cost of repairs for my Model S and I will do a deep dive into that here probably later this month. I should hit 300,000 miles by the end of November. So make sure you're subscribed so you get an update for that video. Now I do want to make mention of my motor here. I bought my 2013 Model S three years old in 2016. It only had 16,000 miles on it. From the time that I purchased that vehicle until recently, that was the original motor. It's probably safe to say that that was the motor that was put in when that vehicle was built at the factory. There was a small chance that there was a motor failure before 16,000 miles, but it's very impressive. I replaced that motor at 285,000 miles. So if we base it on, on my data point alone, these motors are pretty well built and should last a long time. We won't really know how these motors are built until some of these Teslas have higher mileage. The last thing I wanna look at is motor failure under warranty versus out of warranty. I'll just quickly cover that for current Model S and X. It's eight year or 150,000 mile. The Model 3 rear wheel drive is eight year or 100,000 mile. And then all of the other Model 3 and Model Y variants, it's eight year, 120,000 mile. For a lot of those early Model S and X, they did have an eight year unlimited 
mile warranty on battery and drive unit. So taking a look at, at what point these motors did fail, 93.3% did fail under warranty. That one outlier, that 6.7% is me, the cost to replace my motor was $6,000. And I will note that they didn't have a new motor available, so I had to purchase a refurbished one. They do warranty it for 50,000 miles, I believe is what they told me, but $6,000 is kind of a lot, especially if you have had to replace a battery pack out of warranty as well. Battery packs are somewhere around ten and twenty thousand dollars at this point. I've seen different price points for those when I got quoted, though I had mine replaced under warranty, it was around twenty thousand dollars. But for a refurbished motor to cost six thousand dollars, in my personal opinion, that's a little bit high. It would be great if it was more like a couple thousand dollars. So how often do Tesla motors fail? Well, according to these 198 respondents, it's at 7.6 percent failure rate. That's very similar actually to the battery failure rate that I took a look at in the previous video. Still high and yes the sample size is relatively small but that's the point of doing these videos is to get some data points and compare them over time. Do they increase? Do they decrease as more data is analyzed? And I did also ask respondents how many motor replacements have they seen? 4.5% have had to replace their motor once, 2% twice, and there was one individual who said that they had to replace their motor four times, and then one individual who said that they have had to replace their motor more than five times, five or more times. That wraps up this video. What are your thoughts on this? Have you experienced a motor failure in your Tesla? Sound off in the comments down below. And if you haven't filled out the data, please do. That would mean a lot to me. And I'll do some analysis over time as the data set gets larger. My name is Sean Menchel with All Things EV. Thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll catch you on the next video.